Welcome, my name is Bjorn Barent of AskBJ.net and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a group that can be used in Gmail. Here's my email and this will only work if your administrator has turned on Google Groups for Business. Using Google Groups for Business opposed to using your contact group will allow it to be publicly seen if you wish or used by multiple people. What I'm going to do is you'll find under more groups you can see the list that I am part of or I can manage right now I'm going to create my own give it a good group name make note of the email address test.group at your domain uh, that will be the email address that you have to give out to people it will not automatically show up in their list. You have to give it a description. And you have several different levels of access that you can use. Uh, public means anybody can use this uh, to send and receive, anybody in the domain. Team means that only a team member can invite anybody and use it. Announcement only. Only managers can post to this and view the member list, but anyone can join the list. Uh, restricted is a very highly restricted one. It's very common to the similar to your contact groups where only you can use it or the managers can use it, but you can specify more than one manager. I'm going to keep it restricted for this example. Create my group. Okay, the next step is to add the group members. You can either add the group members by invite or add them directly. In this case, I want to add them directly because I don't want to send out an email notifying everybody that I have added them. I can choose to write a message or I can say, nope, don't send. I'm going to add members, ignore and continue this step, visit the group. Now that I have the group called test, I can either from the web page post a link or from my email, I can choose to send an email. And because I listed myself as a manager of the group, I do have the rights to send to this. Okay, thank you very much, and that is my video.